Hey guys, I'm gonna be uh, swapping this Y7 manifold over to the Y8 and, uh, manifold. So uh, yeah, I got the Y8 manifold right over here. Uh, it has this little uh, air thing here, but uh, I'm hoping that since it is uh, plugged off with bolts, it should be all right, but we'll see. Um, definitely needs to be cleaned. Uh, it's got some stuff in the intake, so let's take care of that first, and then we'll figure out what's next. You guys got everything unplugged, I think, so and unbolted. So I'm gonna just try giving it a wiggle. So come off. Now, guys, we just had to sawzall the mount off because the um, there's bolt stripped out for it. Feels like we're grabbing on something. I don't know what the. It's over here somewhere. Um, okay, guys, uh, that's out. That's where I had to cut it off through the aluminum but uh it's all good you know um, all right so i believe we need to first clean this off i already took a peek in those holes so it looks it looks all right looks good you know pretty good little seal this part's kind of worrying me i don't know how we're supposed to like it's constantly coming out of there, so I don't know if that's gonna um, cause the gasket to not seal very well over there. I'm just gonna wipe it as best I can right before I put it on and uh, hope for the best. I'm gonna show you that. See how dirty that is compared to like this one. Yeah. So that's what I was talking about. I've just about scratched all of my paint off of my about cover at this point, but uh, yeah, it's got kind of hot back here for some reason. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna clean up that metal. What's next is I need to JB weld a couple of things here. So apparently, you can't just block this off with a hose. You have to JB weld it, and you got to do those too. So, I'm going to JB weld those, and then uh, that's it. Looks like that needs to be JB welded. Wow, that's a pretty big hole. Because uh, I was watching a video to get some help with this, and looks like he was JB welding it. This one you don't have to do be well though, that goes to something else, I guess. So, I don't remember exactly what he said. He also said not to use this fuel rail from the Y8, because I guess it's different, different size fuel injectors on it or something. Bigger fuel injectors, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, Let's baby weld that, and I'm gonna take this fuel rail off as well, and get the other one on there. So yeah, it's just the uh, three. Well, I guess just two if you really think about it. So I need to get that off. Come back to you guys when I'm done. There it is. Uh, got everything on. Um, let's see. So I think the last thing I showed you would have been me putting these hoses on. So there's that one. Then the other one connects to the bottom of the uh, idler control valve. We got the, uh, I believe that's a map sensor plugged in, the TPS is plugged in, air intake temperature is plugged in, throttle cable's on, regulator's on, return line, return fuel line's on. All the fuel inductors are plugged in, fuel rails in. Uh, 
This is just plugged because it does nothing. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, this actually goes to the tank, but mine's broken, so. You know, as you can see right there, the line's off, so. You know, I don't need it, but you guys should probably plug it back in. So it's hot on, I believe, air filter's on, and uh, we should fill this thing up with coolant since we lost a lot of coolant. So I'm gonna fill it up with coolant and then see if it'll start. All right, right back. I guess uh, top the coolant off. Uh, actually, yeah, let me uh, clear some of this junk off. Alright guys, so the issue I'm having is it is idling super high, like 2500 RPM. So we got to try and figure that out. Um, I'm going to take off this. And I'm going to check the... Uh, Throttle body gasket. Okay, I guess that came off. There's a just have a suspicion since I didn't check that. That could be the case. But um, I think while I have the throttle body off, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off that uh um what's it called? Idler control valve and put on the one that I know is good, which I have right here. Just replace this one, so. But I think this one has a bad TPS, so I'm not gonna put it in. So let's uh, snag this ICV and uh, go from there. Um, let's see, we gotta take that off. And this also, I mean, this could be an issue. You know, the TPS connector is broken, but the three prongs still slide into the plug. Let's see, it's still idling high, but I mean, that's where it was before. You know, which, that's what it would do when it was cold. It would idle right there, which is high, but maybe it won't do the weird misfire thing that it has been doing. I right, guess well, uh, I didn't actually fix it, but I'll just show you guys what it's doing. <clears throat> it wants to idle at 2,500, but it's sort of surging. And guess is those holes that were JB welded because uh, every time it runs this thing actually starts coming out of the hole so um, I'm guessing that JB weld probably hopefully it didn't get sucked in but I'm guessing it probably got pushed out well it might have gotten sucked in I don't know we'll see but um, yeah, so 
I guess I gotta take all of this stuff back off and do it all again. So, I don't know if I can reuse this intake manifold gasket or not, but, um, yeah. Um, if y'all are doing this at home, I don't know if this is a, really worth it, you know? I mean, it looks cooler, but, um, it's kind of just a pain in the ass, and it, I mean, you know, I've been looking up the problems, and, yeah, it's, like, really common. Seems like it doesn't really go well for anybody, so, probably just don't do this. <clears throat> I'm gonna probably take this all off and put back on the Y7 throttle body, or, I mean, uh, intake manifold and bolt it back down and uh, put it back together. Um, so, yeah. See you guys in the next video.